Before drawing anything in SketchUp, I highly recommend that you have a moderately conventional two button scroll wheel mouse that is configured to have primary click, secondary or right click and middle click functionality. The tools in SketchUp and more importantly, the navigation in SketchUp is really designed to be used with that type of conventional mouse configuration. You can get by without a two button scroll wheel mouse. You're just going to spend a lot of unnecessary time manually clicking on the pan, orbit, and zoom tool on your toolbar. To walk you through a quick demonstration, here's what I'll be doing. On the 3D text tool, I'll click it and type Z-O-P-Z-E because I'd like to show you zoom, orbit, pan, and zoom extents. Don't worry about the font type but I do have mine set to filled and extruded. Don't worry about the size, but do match the size here to whatever your font size is set at. I'll click place and click right at the origin point. Right away, I'm going to click on the zoom extents button on my toolbar. This blue line is just showing you that the group is currently selected. With the select tool, I'm going to click in white space to deselect. From here, if you scroll forward and backwards, you can see that the wheel acts as a zoom tool. What's really important is that you always have your cursor on top of the geometries you want to zoom in and out from. The reason is in white space, there is an infinite number of points and SketchUp does its best to guess how fast and how slow to zoom. It kind of works as long as your model is somewhat simple, but it doesn't take much where your model might zip to a situation like this. If that happens, go ahead and click on the zoom extents button to bring everything back into frame. From here, it's very clear that we are in a perspective view. I'd like to show you from the camera menu option, you can toggle between perspective and parallel projection simply by clicking parallel projection or perspective. That's easier to see when you start looking at the standard views. I have them on my toolbar here. You can also access these from the camera standard views menu option. The first one is isometric. It snaps to the closest isometric view. The next one is top down. And then the remaining four are front, left, right, and back. Pretty self-explanatory. The isometric view is not the same view each time. It snaps to the closest one. That's why it's not quite the same as it was a moment ago, but that's all right. As long as you have a view like this, I'd like you to move your cursor off to the side and press and hold the middle wheel. Move the mouse side to side. You can see that the middle wheel button allows you to orbit. And I can reframe this into a somewhat readable view. If I click on isometric, now it snaps to this view instead. You can also orbit up and down. One thing I would caution you on, keep an eye on the solid blue line. That is the up direction. If you're not careful, you might end up with an upside down model like this. If you see the blue solid going down, keep orbiting until it is back in the up direction, like so. A helpful keyboard modifier while you are orbiting is the shift key that will allow you to pan. So very easily, you can zoom, orbit, pan, and zoom extents. With that information, you should never get lost in your SketchUp model.